This year, more than 7 million children will die from preventable causes before they reach their fifth birthday. Saving children's lives cannot be just a job for governments. And so we are all here today with one vision, to make sure every child everywhere lives to see his or her fifth birthday. Eastern Congo Initiative, a tireless partner in this effort, is supporting civil society groups to meet some of the biggest challenges in that country. Congo is one of only a small handful of countries in which the number of under five mortalities has actually increased since 1990. According to USAID, 148 out of 1,000 DRC children will not reach their fifth birthday, nearly 15%. This is the fifth highest under five mortality rate in the world. For the past six years, I've had the great pleasure to visit Congo many, many times. The potential for change is abundant. For the first time in history, we have the means and knowledge to end unnecessary child deaths in the DRC and globally. Much of the time, saving a child's life is as simple as ensuring kids sleep under bed nets to help avoid malaria and they receive nutritional supplements and that they have immediate access to health care. This could save millions of lives a year alone and would cost less than $30 a child. The Congolese must lead in this effort. We firmly believe that. We believe that our role is to support the Congolese and support community-based organizations. We believe that lasting, long-term success happens when the Congolese lead and develop solutions that work for their own communities. We're pleased to announce the completion of an online searchable database of community-based organizations doing important and impactful work in Eastern Congo. This rigorous landscape analysis developed in collaboration with USAID, identifies Congolese-led organizations that are improving outcomes in their communities. We believe that our collective voices and actions can help children around the world live long and healthy lives. I have three children that fall into this vulnerable age range. I cannot imagine what it would have been like driving my wife to the hospital, pregnant, about to give birth, and thinking to myself, well, there's a 15% chance that each one of these children won't live to be five years old. It is morally incumbent on us to work to eradicate this problem and stay with it uh, until our work is done.